Our scripture tonight comes from Proverbs 16, verses 9. In his heart, a man plans his course, but the Lord determines his steps. Mm -hmm. Father God, we are again gathered together, Lord, in this place that has been dedicated to the worship of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And we don't take this for granted, Lord God, because we realize we didn't have to be here, Lord God. Mm -hmm. So much could have happened, Lord God, but you blessed us and we are here and we want to just say thank you for life as well as it is, Lord God. Yes. Uh, a lot of people would love to be in our shoes tonight, Lord God. And we just look around us and look at what's going on in our world, Lord God, and we are blessed, Lord God. So we just thank you for all the blessings you bestowed upon us, Lord God. We do acknowledge that we are sinners saved by your grace. Yes. And we thank you for your mercy and grace, Lord God, and waking us early this morning, and then our eyes open to a new day the day that you made, and then you kept us safe all day long. Yes. You provided for us, Lord, and blessed us with all of our needs. And we do acknowledge you in our worthy, Lord, of your mercy and grace. But you're so loving, and you just take care of us every day of our lives, and we thank you for it. Yes. Now, please bless the uh, Bible study tonight. Bless Pastor Haynes, and bless your word, and touch our hearts, and help us, Lord, to receive your word, Lord God, and Pray that we all will learn something new from your word that will help us to be better Christians, Lord yes, God. Yes. And then, Lord, we lift up our church as a whole, lift up Bethany, all the ministries, ministry leaders, and the members of this church, Lord God. You've been good to us, Lord God. You've blessed us over 100 years, Lord God. And we just ask him that you just uh, strengthen us and help us to focus and become more spiritual, Lord God, yes, and yes. instead of living by our flesh, Lord God. And we lift up Sunday's worship service. We are praying for extraordinary service here on Sunday, Lord God. Bless the pastor and the sermon on Sunday, the choir members and the musicians, the ushers and the deacons. And we will commemorate the Lord's Supper on Sunday, Lord God, yes. and help us to remember what the Lord's Supper is about, Lord God. Yes. And then, Lord, just pray that we will be better when we leave church Sunday than when we come in, Lord God. Mm -hmm. And now, Lord, we lift up our churches open in your name tonight. Bless all believers in you tonight, Lord God. Help us and keep us safe from Satan and his demons and the evil in this world, Lord God. Mm -hmm. So we lift up the sick also, Lord, the mentally sick, the physically sick, Touch and heal in your comfort, Lord God, where it is your will. And then we lift up the people that are bereaved of loved ones tonight, Lord God. Uh, bless us to Joanne Johnson and the loss of her sister, Lord God, and, and uh, Brother McPhee, Lord God, and the loss of his mother. Yes. Lord, bless them both. Bless them with traveling grace and strength as they go through this dark time in their lives, Lord God. So we love you and we just thank you for who you are and what you've done and we thank you in advance what you're going to do. Yes. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Father God, thank you for allowing us to be here one more night. Yes. I just want to thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord. Yes, Lord. I want to thank you for being always present in my life. Yes. I ask you, Father, that you continue to guide me and walk me in your path, Lord. I ask you, Father, to guide me in your will. Yes. Help me to understand that it's not by my will, but it's by your will. Help me to get myself out of the way, Lord. Yes. Help yes. me to keep you present ahead of my life in all things. Yes, Lord. I ask you, Father, to help me continue to keep you in the forefront of my mind. Yes. Open my ears, open my heart, Father, so that I may receive your word. Yes. Help me to dissect your word, Father, yes, and, Lord. and take it, Father. Yes. I ask you, Father, just give me understanding, Lord. It's things that I deal with daily, Father. I still don't understand, Lord, but I know it's a greater purpose. Yes. And I trust you, Father. I ask you, Father, that you protect my family, Lord. Protect my, my, my mother, my grandmother, and my loved ones, Lord. Yes, I ask Lord. you to keep them dear, Father. I ask you, Father, to cover each and every one of us here tonight, Lord. Yes. You know, we need and, and what we can use in your will, Father. Yes, yes. Lord. We ask you to just continue to love us. Keep us close to you, Father, and, and keep sending the Holy Ghost to guide us. Yes. yes. I ask you, Father, that 
we send a word from your presence tonight, Father, to bless us. Yes. Something that we each can take, Father, and use in our daily lives. Yes, yes. Lord. I ask you, Father, that you open our ears so that we may receive it. Yes. And so that we may take it and, and, and use it daily, Father, and help minister to others. Yes. <clears throat> I ask you, Father, that you bless the church. Bless each and every one of us here at Bethany, Father. Yes, Lord. Everyone can use a special anointing, Father. Yes, yes, Lord. We need you, Father. We need your grace and your blessing. Yes, Lord. So that we may grow abundantly. Yes, yes. Lord. We ask you, Father, that something is ministered to the music Sunday. On the first Sunday, we, we hope something is said and done that another soul will be saved. Yes, Lord. Yes. We ask you, Father, to bring it forth, Father, and let them see Jesus in us. Yes. I ask you, Father, to remove myself out of the way, Father, and allow them to see me in you. Yes. Help me to teach your word Sunday, Father, and help me to understand it as well. Yes. I thank you, Father. I magnify your son, Jesus' name. I lift you up. I ask these things in your son, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Jesus, Master, we come to you once again. We just have our hearts open tonight, my Heavenly Father. We're just waiting on you to pour down on us, my Heavenly Father. My Heavenly Father, you know who I am and where I am, and you know my weakness, my Heavenly Father. And I'm just asking you right now to touch me right now, my Heavenly Father. Amen. Remove those weaknesses from me, my Heavenly Father. Give me strength where I'm weak, my Heavenly Father. Give me guidance right now, my Heavenly Father. I'm just asking for direction right now. I'm asking you to help refocus me, my Heavenly Father. I just need strength from you right yes. now. I just thank you for your unconditional love, my Heavenly Father, that you keep pouring down on me, my Heavenly Father. I thank you for the grace and mercy that you keep giving me each and every day, my Heavenly Father. Because I'm not entitled to it, but you keep giving it to me. And I just thank you for it, my Heavenly Father. I thank you for another day this morning, my Heavenly Father. Because the day was not promised to me, yes. my Heavenly Father. But you thought enough of me to wake me again this morning, my Heavenly Father. And not only wake me, but give me strength in my body and in my mind, my Heavenly Father. That I was able to get out of bed on my own and be in my right mind, my Heavenly Father. And I just thank you for that. I thank you for just being who you are and still being on the throne and still being in control of this world. My Heavenly Father, even though we go through things, go through things, my Heavenly Father, we know that you're still in control. And some of the things that we go through are because of the choices that we make, my Heavenly yes, Father. Yes. But you keep putting your hands on us, my Heavenly Father, and keep trying to guide us, my Heavenly Father. And I thank you for that. I just thank you for just being who you are, my Heavenly Father. I thank you for Bethany, my Heavenly Father, because I know that there's something extraordinary that you're going to do at Bethany, my Heavenly Father. And once we get ourselves together, my Heavenly Father, and start discerning your voice and start listening to you, my Heavenly Father, you will do what you have in store for us. And I just thank you for that. I thank you for the members that you're going to send our way, my Heavenly Father, that we will be ready to open up our homes and love them the way that they need to be loved as they come through those doors, my Heavenly Father. I just praise you right now for all that you're doing and all that you're going to do. In your darling son's name, amen. 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 Hey there, sugar. How's it going? It's going? Did you find a caterer? <laughs> I was going to put on there. Your mama. It's for her. Oh, okay. It's for her birthday. Oh. I almost said your mama. I almost said your mama. Hey there. I know. Esther, Esther, chapter four. Esther, chapter four.
all 17 verses. When Mordecai, when Mordecai learned of all that had been done, he tore his clothes, put on sackcloth and ashes, and went out into the city wailing loudly and bitterly. But he went only as far as the king's gate, because no one clothed in sackcloth was allowed to enter it. In every province to which the edict and order of the king came, there was a great mourning among the Jews with fasting, weeping, and wailing. Many lay in sackcloth and ashes. When Esther's maids and eunuchs came and told her about Mordecai, she was in great distress. She sent clothes for him to put on instead of his sackcloth, but he would not accept them. Then Esther summoned Hattach, one of the king's eunuchs assigned to attend her and ordered him to find out what was troubling Mordecai and why. So Hathach went out to Mordecai in the open square of the city in front of the king's gate. Mordecai told him everything that had happened to him, including the exact amount of money Haman had promised to pay into the royal treasury for the destruction of the Jews. He also gave them a copy of the text of the edict for their annihilation, which had been published in Susa, to show to Esther and explain it to her. And he told him to urge, told him to urge her to go into the king's presence to beg for mercy and plead with him for her people. Hathach went back and reported to Esther what Mordecai had said. Then she instructed him to say to Mordecai, all the king's officials and the people of the royal provinces show that for any man or woman who approaches the king in the inner court without being summoned, the king has but one law, that he be put to death. The only exception to this is for the king to extend the gold scepter to him and spare his life. But 30 days have passed since I was called to go to the king. When Esther's words were reported to Mordecai, he sent back this answer. Do not think that you are in the king's house, you alone of all, of all the Jews will escape. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place but you and your father's families will perish. And who knows but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai, go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day, and I, I and my maids will fast as you do when this is done. I will go to the king even though it is against the law, and if I perish, I perish. So Mordecai went away and carried out all of Esther's instructions. Go to 14 for me again, please. Okay, verse 14. For if you remain silent at this time, Relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place, but you and your father's families will perish. And who knows but, but that you have come to royal position for such a time as this. Yeah. That's what I want to talk about. Three fourteen from yours, Kim Hunt. Sure. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. 
but you and your father's family will perish. Well, yeah, you and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. And who knows? Who knows that you've come to such a place as this for such a time as this? <coughs> Any questions? <laughs> Brianna, you all right tonight? Come to your Bible, Brianna. Can't see, I'm blessed. Can't see about your left for baby. <laughs> Should have brought my magnifying glass. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Who knows? That's my question. Y'all say Chastity wasn't coming. I told y'all Chastity. <laughs> Esther chapter 4 verse 14 oh, Esther 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 Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Fourteen. 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 Fourteen.
No, it didn't. It seemed to hurt. <laughs> Bottom line is, she won. She a queen. <laughs> Do you think she has a consciousness of her purpose when she becomes queen? <laughs> no. She just thinks she's queen. She pretty. She might have thought she was lucky. She might have thought that fella hooked her up. For whatever reason, she's queen. Mm -hmm. She has no consciousness of a God-given purpose. Is she appreciative? Eh, probably so. She had a lovely sister in the blue. Say what? Hey, Craig, she had a lovely sister and she was beautiful. She had a lovely future and she was beautiful. She was big, bigger. And she was beautiful. Bigger. Mm -hmm. She had a body. She had a body. She had a coat body. Do you think anybody <laughs> in that contest didn't have the same thing? Uh, mm -hmm. That's not. You think that anybody in the contest? I win the contest because I'm fat and beautiful. <laughs> Huh? It is a such thing. I'm in the contest because I'm ugly. No, she must have the best because she won it. She won them over. She won the contest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything in your life that you think God showed you favor? Mm hmm. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you what. I just yeah. want to be chill like that. Mm -hmm. I can say so now. Yeah. Say what? I can say now. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know it before? I didn't know it then when it happened. You didn't know that God did something for you? Mm -hmm. I said later on down the line, I looked back. Uh, <laughs> so you never saw God blessing you in your early life? I didn't understand it then. That's what happened to everybody. Pretty much. Well, you know, I don't think she had that much consciousness about what was going on. I sure don't think she figured it's God's favor. I have a conscience of blessings, but I don't know if she. God ever bless you, Chancellor? Mm -hmm. Every day would be worth being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor, there. A difference between favor and blessings. Hmm. Okay, let's put it. Let me get more specific. Do you think you have a God given purpose in your life? I think maybe that's where that's what she was talking about. That there's a purpose. I contend everybody has a God given purpose. Yeah. Um, the trick is knowing what it is. Um, I contend that God blesses us, God favors us. Uh, but a lot of times we take it for granted. We don't. So let's let's back let's back up. Mordecai put her in this contest. She wins the contest. She's queen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, this guy Haman got an attitude about Mordecai because Mordecai don't bow to him. 
So he did a little research. He wants to hurt Mordecai. But he's not satisfied just hurting Mordecai. He wants to hurt all Mordecai's people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who happen to be Israelites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now he had no idea that Esther is an Israelite. He has no idea the queen's an Israelite. He just wanted to get Mordecai. So he got the king to write <coughs> decrees, basically giving him permission to wipe them out on a certain day. We good so far. Mm -hmm. Mordecai finds out. And when he finds out, he tears his clothes off. And he puts on sackcloth. Mm -hmm. Why would he put on sackcloth? Mm -hmm. He's mourning. Mm -hmm. He wants to show suffering. But he also wants to get word to Esther. Mm -hmm. Why would he wear sackcloth when he knows you can't go into the palace with sackcloth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was he in disguise or something? So what? Was he in disguise? No, no. Sackcloth is what you you know what sackcloth? Yeah, like rags. It's like uh, y'all ain't know Brillo. It's like uh, back in the day you used to have potatoes in Brillo sack. Mm -hmm. You ever heard of that? That's sackcloth. It's something made out of that. It's like material that's rough, not comfortable. It's not cotton. Not so. It's irritating. But you wear it because you want to suffer because you're mourning, mm -hmm. grieving. Mm -hmm. You don't get the chest? I get it, but I know where I'm going to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> but why would you put it on if you know it's going to disqualify you from getting to the person you're trying to get to at first? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Between He's trying to prove the point for grieving. Maybe he didn't think about the grieving part until he started grieving. Now he can't get to Esther, but he's trying to get word to Esther. So he gets word to Esther finally when her maid, helper, whatever he was, goes to the gate, sees Mordecai with sackcloth up, and what does she do? She sends him some clothes. Mm -hmm. That's what y'all would do. Mm -hmm. Homeboy needs some clothes. I'm going to send him some brand new clothes. Mm -hmm. I got to put the clothes on. He go talk to Esther. You got to do that though. Mm -hmm. You don't know clothes. Tell her I want her to go and talk to the king mm -hmm. about our situation. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're looking at Esther. Mm -hmm. Esther's queen. Nobody knows she's a Israelite, basically, but she and Mordecai. <laughs> she ain't gonna tell me. So basically, all the Israelites can get killed. They gonna touch her. I don't know if Esther even see what she's supposed to do or anything. Job. But look at that. What that? Read verse 14. Just them her people. The last part. Which one? But thou shalt thy father's house shall be destroyed. Is that what you want me to start? I said verse 14. You said the last. Well, I just read all of it. That's too too complicated for you. <laughs> for, for if thou altogether holdest thy peace. At this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. For but thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knows where thou art come from? 
to the kingdom from which the time is this. I don't like this version. Yeah, that don't sound right. No, I don't like Who that. Who knows that you haven't been placed in this position for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. And who knows that you're in this position? What is you in this position? Okay. He said, he said you know so what? Good. He said, you know what? He said, the first of all, I don't think you're gonna get away, you know, mm -hmm. because you're queen. Mm -hmm. You know. And don't think that God can't deliver Israel without you. Mm -hmm. If you don't, if he, uh, you don't, you know, if you don't step up to the plate, God got somebody. He get somebody else to do it. The salvation of Israel is coming. It's gonna happen. You know, all oh, late. She just, you know, where in the world she could catch him. No, he, he, he don't need you. Get somebody else. But 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 don't you think that God has positioned you in this place for such a time as this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, "Yes, you ain't going." Up no. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you think that God has positioned me for such a time as this? Do you think that God has made me queen? Such a time as this. That's that's the lesson. See, I contend that that just like Esther has no clue, I contend that God has positioned each of us in a blessed position. Oh no, no, you might not be queen, but you're blessed. Mm -hmm. You may not be queen, but you have a God-given purpose. You've been blessed. You don't know why he blessed you. You don't, you don't know why you drive the car, you cry. You don't know why you got the clothes you got. You don't know why you got the job you have. You don't know you got the money, why, why you, you're in the position you're in. And yet, God does. He, he purposed you. Maybe, maybe he got you right here now. Maybe with all this racism going on, maybe God put you here in this position right now for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Not to be a queen, but maybe to, to address the racism in this country, mm -hmm. to address the racism in Dallas, to address all this craziness y'all got with Trump, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> he might have. He might have. Y'all. Put y'all here for such a time as this. Y'all see where I'm coming from? Mm -hmm. that, that in a lot of ways, we're not any better than, than Esther. Esther's been blessed. Now look at what's the danger? Is, is Esther just being thoughtless, inconsiderate? Esther, I don't even know if she even realized she's supposed to do something. Well, she said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all don't realize if I go to the queen, to the queen, if I go to the king and he has not summoned me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just doing that is enough for him to kill you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody who goes before the queen, the king unsolicited will die. Mm -hmm. Esther is, in, is before Job. Job is before <laughs> Psalm. Psalm is in the middle of the Bible. If you open your Bible up in the middle and go toward the front, you will get to Esther before you get two books up the road. I come all that looking in the table of contents. That's why you don't <laughs> She ain't no way. She's still in the back of the Bible. Ain't no way close. Take the middle of your Bible, open it up, okay. and see some. When you see some, go toward the front of the Bible. So that's the other way. Okay, go okay. left. Go left. I got some. Okay, Joe. <laughs> Y'all feel me? Yes. She, she's the queen. Anybody solicited, unsolicited, can die. So she can die. Mm -hmm. Now y'all need to get out your head this 
fine Esther. <laughs> Esther ain't fine no more. <laughs> <laughs> Why? She old now. She, oh, she okay. Fine and wine. Okay, fine and wine. <laughs> Here's the clue. Her husband has not called for her in 30, 30 days. Oh, in 30 days. I thought you said in 30 years. What? You might have a lot. You might have a bunch of wives. That's the point. Oh, my God. Well, if he, got, <laughs> if he got, if he got, if he got a wife in his in her twenties, and Esther's in her late forties. Oh, he mean. ain't called for her in 30 days. I, I thought he was in 30 years. 30 days. Her birthday is the first of the month. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't rotate. He said he didn't rotate. He didn't have a 30 days. I thought it, her <laughs> rotation ain't came back around. Okay. If she's in rotation, it ain't her rotation. <laughs> so if she shows up oh, out of rotation, she could die. <laughs> oh, really? Um, <laughs> she has no idea how he feels about it. She ain't talked to the man in 30 days. You married somebody and talked to him in 30 days. And y'all laughing about it? That's okay. Because all y'all care. About in 30 years or five years or four years. So, <laughs> she can tell they kept women. They just want the longest he take care of. <laughs> yeah. Gold diggers, man. They're gold diggers. They're dead, they're dead, man. Gold diggers. 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 I don't like being with him no uh -huh. way. <laughs> we don't have that kind of heart no more. Like Seems that. like to me that's what you're saying. No, no. Mm -hmm. What you say? I didn't hear you. No, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you to call. I'm not pushing on that perfect thing you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? So. Me, I don't know what my purpose is, but does God test me to see if I'm ready? If, if you will. If, if, does God test you to see if you're ready to yeah. handle your purpose? I do. Yeah, I think like, so. Does he, take you, does he say, I know the purpose that I'm going to have for her, but I'm going to take her through it to see if she's ready mm -hmm. for me? Yeah. Or does he just set it there? And I just have well, to look at let's look at Esther. Did Esther know her purpose? No. Mm -hmm. Did God take her through it to see what her purpose was? She was put there. Yeah, you just yeah, answered yeah. your own question. Okay. Is that is that we all made for a God given purpose? I don't know what my purpose is, but when the time comes and the purpose is needed and I'm qualified, maybe all you're gonna make is for me. Maybe it's my time. <laughs> what does Esther do? She said, Okay, I could die. Mm -hmm. Dude asked me in 30 days, but I tell you what, I want y'all to pray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Esther don't have to use the word prayer, no way in there. It doesn't name God in there. Would stack. Some folks do you want to make it sanctuary. But, but when she say fast, that's another way of saying fast and pray. Mm -hmm. For me. Mm -hmm. And you know, if, if God says, okay, I'm going to go show myself to the king. And hopefully, mm -hmm. I don't die. But if I die, I just die. That's mm -hmm. When I perish, if I perish, I perish. Mm -hmm. I perish. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. Y'all feel? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Evidently, she prayed. She must have felt like it was all right. She goes before the king, and the king extends his gold scepter. Mm -hmm. well, once okay. he extends the, all that, all that anguish. Concerned, all that's gone. So she saved. Mm -hmm. She good. She ain't got to worry about that. Mm -hmm. So what did she do? 
So what? Tell them we're water crossing. No. <laughs> she said, come to my house. We're going to have a late night dinner. Oh, bring Hammond with you. Now, Hammond back at the ranch. <laughs> he didn't manipulate it so Mordecai don't die. They're building the, the gallows to hang Mordecai. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so happy he don't know what to do. And he's about to go into the king's mm -hmm. presence. He is he, you know, he's so close to the king, go in and out. No big deal. He ain't worried about nobody killing him. <laughs> and at the same time he finna go into the king, the king had a dream the night before. Mm -hmm. The dream reminded him there was a, a plot to take his life or to assassinate him. Mm -hmm. The only reason he wasn't assassinated because Mordecai gave him a 911. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. King asked the question, hey, did we ever do anything to bless Mordecai? To reward Mordecai for saving my life? Mm -hmm. I said, no, we didn't do nothing. Old boy Haman, and he coming in there at the same time. <laughs> he been close to the king and everything been going his way. So when the king said, what should I do for a man who has done so much for me, help me, and I want to reward him in a very special way? Haman thing he talking about him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I think you ought to let him ride on your horse and let somebody read, lay, lead him through the whole city, the whole kingdom. This is the way the king rewards the man who's highly favored and who he mm -hmm. thinks of because he thinks it's for him. Mm -hmm. Guess what? <laughs> it was for Mordecai. Mm -hmm. And guess who had to lead the horse? <laughs> Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now he wants him dead. Instead of killing him, he got to go through the whole kingdom and talk about how blessed he is, how great he is, and how he and the king are tight. When he gets through with that fiasco, he comes in, coming to the king. Oh, excuse me. Feeling low. And when he's that low, guess what? The king says, oh, uh, I got a, a late night dinner with the queen, and she wants you to come, too. Whoa, you <laughs> made my day now. Hmm. Had a bad day. Didn't want to have to do all that to do, but guess what? I'm invited to the queen's chamber with the king. Mm -hmm. She invited the king, and it's not but one other Person. Me. That's got to be special. <laughs> That's oh, got to be good. Oh, I hope I think so. Yeah, all right. Purpose. When they get to her house, what does she do? She feed them? And tell them to come back tomorrow night. Oh, you got to read a whole lot of chapters. That's what I got. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we have this. I'll read 26 chapters. Yeah, 26. Yeah, <laughs> read about it. Yeah. Don't even try to catch it. Yeah, it's a lot. A whole lot of reading. Mm -hmm. And 26. Look at, look at chapter 31 and verse 6. Or is it 31 and 16? Oh. Esther. There's only 10 chapters. There's only 10 chapters in Esther. There's only 10 chapters in Esther. Well, why do you want to go to 31? 
I wanted to see that she know it was 31 yeah. chapters. No, no, it wasn't. Then I said, what chapter? You didn't say what chapter. I said, I'm in there. Read chapter 10, verse 31. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three. What three yeah. say? Mordecai the Jew was second in rank to King Ahaz. Ahaz. Oh, I can't. I gotta look at it again. Um, Ahaz. Uriah. Let me see that. Chapter 10, verse 3. Chapter 10. Okay, chapter 10. Okay, there we go. Okay. It's not 10, y'all. I don't see the key name in chapter 10 at all on this one. Yes, I don't see it. King of Sons, Ahasuerus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Say so what? Look, he's talking about the King of Ahasuerus. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I should have brought my notes. I don't have them. King of Sorcerers? Ahaz, you Okay. Chapter 7. What's chapter 7 say? Uh, they did the same thing. Then the king of Sorcerers said to the queen, and to Mordecai the Jew, Behold, I have given unto the house of Haman. That's it. No, I have said something else. I'm looking for it. No, the, the story is, you got to read it The story is that. Um, She finally tells the king that Haman is seeking the lives of her and her people. Mm-hmm. Haman realized he done messed up now. Because right outside, they're building the gallows to hang Mordecai. Mm-hmm. He's ordered for the gallows to be built. Mm-hmm. The king is distraught because once he signed that decree, Give them the right to do to kill all those Jews. He can't change it because once you make a decree, mm-hmm. it's a law. Mm-hmm. So he steps out on the balcony to meditate. While he meditated, Haman started pleading for his life because he know he's gonna live and die. <laughs> but while he's pleading, the homeboy gonna lean on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> When the, when the king walks back in, <coughs> he's on the bed pleading for his life, but he thinks he's on the bed trying to rape his wife. Mm-hmm. I said, what you gonna do? You gonna, gonna try to get him right now while I'm looking? And of course, he orders him to be hung <laughs> on the very gallows that he had built mm-hmm. for Mordecai to be hung on. That's seven. Oh, that's seven. 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 No, I was looking for a word, but I'm thinking that might even be a totally different lesson. That was more like a discernment of dealing with Sunday. In fact, it was the sermon I was dealing with. You feel me? (laughs) Cassidy? Yep. So once she realizes her purpose, she didn't meet her purpose. She did or she didn't? She did. She did. 
Meanwhile, sometimes I think she on a vacation. <laughs> I want to make sure my brain cell connected with yours. That's why I made it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't go through it. Yeah, that's kind of hard. I understand the problem. I understand, yeah. <laughs> not the, problem. I understand the problem. Because that's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, I'm just saying, I don't see where they're connected. I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting When I put it like with yours, with mine. I mean, my, why would you ask a question like that? She didn't fulfill her purpose. Let's see. And then you say, she did or she didn't? No, I, I just make sure I heard you correctly. <laughs> I want to get my if the, if the enemy is dead and the hero is alive, maybe she did the, the right thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Question. Have you fulfilled your purpose? Hmm. Your God-given purpose. You still trying to find out what it is? No, I'm still working on it. Oh, you know what the purpose is? You know? Just got to make it happen. Say what? Oh, you know what the unique was? <laughs> the kings always, would, if you got to be around their wife and their concubines, in order for you to be qualified, they had to be you know, you're castrated. You lose everything. He ain't got to worry about you raping your, his wife. Cause you lost all your stuff. Cause it make me remind me of another joke. I, had. <laughs> I can't tell that joke in mixed up. Hot dog. Say what? <laughs> she's, 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 she's tickled over there. The one I have a hard time with that. That really hurt her heart when she found out the eunuch had to lose everything to be a eunuch. Don't want me to tell y'all that joke. Make it on that. I can't do that. <laughs> you just say okay. <laughs> no, I said that's okay. You don't want to do it. <laughs> I do not want to do it. <laughs> yeah, you really? Well, you can wait till after church. <laughs> <laughs> on the other side of the street. <laughs> just say it on the other side. She has to be the one to enjoy it more than anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not going to tell you. It's not, it's not appropriate. Oh, okay. Let me oh, tell that joke. Jesus. <laughs> She said, okay. Oh, it's okay. It's not appropriate after church. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's a good joke. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so <sure> tempted. <laughs> Sick report. Questions, comments. I do understand the lesson is about your God-given purpose and discovering what it is. <laughs> and if God has blessed you, he's blessed you for a purpose, for a reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That you aren't enjoying these privileges, you're enjoying them. Yeah. Just to enjoy them. Yeah. But for every privilege, there's a responsibility. Yeah. For every blessing, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. How can I use the blessings that God has given me? Yeah. to magnify, glorify his name. How can I use the blessings mm -hmm. he's given me to realize my God-given purpose? I strongly suggest if you don't know what your purpose is, that that become your goal in life. That should be the object of your prayer. Like, Lord, what is, what is my purpose? I got a question. Okay, okay. Does your purpose stay the same or does it change? Your God-given purpose? What do you think? I mean, is it like... Are you saying can you have more than one purpose? Yeah, can you have more than one purpose? I would surmise that after I have accomplished the first one, mm -hmm. 
Unless you're ready to die, he gonna give you another one. Mm -hmm. Or like, or, or like, everything leads up to the purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, because like even Abraham, his purpose was for, you know, the generation on down. But he went through a lot, but he still led to the great purpose. Yeah, but look at what, what did he do? Everybody. Look at Abraham. Let's look at Abraham's purpose. Uh -huh. Let's pray. His purpose was to be a blessing to all nations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It took him 100 years to get there. Yeah. Good Lord. But it never changed. But, 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 yeah. why, why did it take 100 years? Yeah. Because yeah. he didn't know his purpose. Because he didn't know? Well, he knew, but he, like, he what I'm saying is, he was doing to help God. Right. He kept doing some detours. Yeah, he kept, yeah. See, that's what you got to consider is that sometimes the the revelation of your purpose is delayed not because God delayed revealing it to you, but you decide you won't take some shortcuts. Detours. One of my points. <laughs> some detours. You won't help God. So he, he his wife decide him and his wife. Well, look here, I can't get pregnant, so I won't let you go sleep with my baby. And we'll let her baby be the baby God talking about. Mm -hmm. well, well, you know, he knew better. But here's this black fine woman in her 20s. Mm -hmm. And your wife just said you can go to bed with her. You think he's going to turn that down? <laughs> no. But that wasn't God's plan. Oh, <laughs> and he kept trying to throw all this other junk of God. Oh, you know what they're doing? There's this other guy at my house. That's the one the blessing going to be. I said, no, I ain't never told you that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when the kind comes out, he's 99 years old. Oh. When God said, okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> he 99, she 89. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right there. So what? <laughs> but where was the faith? <laughs> is is he the one that lied and said that was his sister? Oh, he did that a couple of times. Uh -huh. That's when he was young. Well, he didn't even have faith then. Uh, he's the father of the faith. I know it, but you know at the beginning. Never done that. <laughs> <laughs> if he would have had the faith, he would have never thought that he was going to be killed. We just talked about that, didn't we? That's the same person. Yes. Isn't that just Abraham? That was your, <laughs> see, y'all act like because you got faith don't mean you consistently faith for all your life. No. You ain't got to talk about Abraham. You talk about the water. <laughs> we had some time when you wasn't faithful, when you doubted, oh, yeah. hmm. when you didn't act like you trusted God. Yeah. I ain't talking about when you was two. I'm talking about recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yesterday. This morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We say, no, I oh, trust man. in God. Yeah, that sounds good when you say that. <laughs> but that ain't always the, tr the case. Because mm -hmm. if you really trust in God, you wouldn't be doing some of the stuff you do. Mm -hmm. So that in this matter, see, that's why it's a serious matter. When you start talking about it, what is my God-given purpose, I said, well, it, it's like uh, I know it ought to be some way tied to my my gifts and talents, my ability. That that if I'm supposed to do something, it has to be something that I'm able to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God's not going to ask me to do something that I'm not able to do. So whatever it is, is it must be something I'm able to do. So now if I got, I've got the ability, now all I need is opportunity. Able to do it becomes when should I do it. 
What am I supposed to do? Brianna? And see, nobody, nobody gets immune to saying the same thing. Uh, I could have made football, pro football player. I have talent, but then I really believe that if I would become a pro football player, I would have detoured from my real purpose. Mm -hmm. Which is preaching and teaching. <laughs> now, there's some people God called to be professional football players. Some of them not. I shared a story with them earlier. My, my cousin, cousin that came in, I said, look just like my my favorite cousin. Mm -hmm. What well, was gifted? He could have made pros. Mm -hmm. He went to UCLA. When he was at UCLA, he said they would take him down there where uh, the Los Angeles Rams practice. And he says it was shocking because you go there where they practice and you realize, you talk about all the talent, you know, that Deacon Jones and all the boys. Play. He said the most talented players were the ones we looked at on Sunday. Hmm. It was the rookies and the uh, secondary, they, they the ones out there on the field. Mm -hmm. The guys making all kind of crazy moves, doing unusual stuff. The, the professionals there on the sidelines joking, playing. Mm -hmm. But when it came time for the game, guess who started off? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The ones who joking and yeah. playing. Mm -hmm. He said, realize that the folk we see on Sunday is not necessarily the most talented people. Because at that level, it's not really all about talent. It, at some point, it becomes politics. Mm -hmm. Certain players play because they can draw. You think that white boy run one most valuable player because he the best running back? Well, they need a good, good PR man. Dak Prescott became the number one quarterback. <laughs> By accident. Yeah. <laughs> well, look, look, look at Nomo got hurt. Mm -hmm. That's the first time Dak had ever played behind a good offensive line. Mm -hmm. Somebody blocking for him. As a good wide receiver that could catch. He wasn't playing. It happened because Nomo got hurt. Mm -hmm. He goes in, scores more points than he ever scored before. Boy, there's no more score. He wasn't supposed to come into the game till the second quarter. No more would have been on the bench by then. He didn't score more points in the first quarter than anybody. So now they take the boy who's supposed to be, quote, the number one quarterback, who's supposed to play the second half and show off. Now he goes in the second half to show off. And homeboy can't even score. <laughs> but he's the one they picked to be the number one quarterback behind no more. They become quarterback. Y'all say Evan Smith is the greatest running back that ever played in NFL? <laughs> If Barry Sanders played behind that same line, he might have got 5,000, maybe 10,000 yards a season. <laughs> it's all, it's not, it's not absolute. Politics. Politics. They pick who they want to pick, they go and put them where they want to put them. Referees make a call. Call. This team go this to the Tom Brady, y'all goat? Why is the goat every game he won had to have a controversial call when it was playoff time?
it's a lot, it's a lot of stuff going in there. But you, you need to know. You need to know. What is your purpose? I contend that God has a purpose for everybody. He's not to be a pro football player. Sometimes God's purpose for some people just to be a maid. Some people to be a mechanic. But see, God can do, if it's God given purpose for you to be a maid, you will do more being a maid than you could do if you was Secretary of State. Because you realize your purpose. Rosa Parks was not the first lady that refused to get home. Mm -hmm. But she was the one God designated mm -hmm. for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. She's the one God designated for such a time as this. Questions, comments, sick report. Got a call from Nancy today. She had one last week too that her daughter had that operation and uh, came out all right. She had another report today. Her daughter is doing better. And they looking forward to get out. Granddaughter. By, well, I'm getting a uh, granddaughter. Looking forward to be out by Friday. So all well. Um, they tell me that Reverend uh, Sam Freeman's back in the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good. He out today? No, Lynn said he was still in there when she texted me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So y'all continue to pray for him. Um, Sister Bennett's still in rehab. Anybody else? My question, do you know your God-given purpose? Maybe God has selected you for such a time. We're going to do the closing prayer. I thought the last person in here was going to be Chastity because she came so late. And then after clear blue sky, I guess it's going to be after Chastity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chastity, I saw you come in. Yeah, I know you. <laughs> I at least got the scripture. <laughs> 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 you the brother came on you didn't you was on the you was on the biggest topic on the <laughs> 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 you said, oh, the yeah, so you oh, walked in the kitchen. <laughs> so we had moved on. Mm -hmm. So when I say I saved you, then I did. <laughs> I'll do the following prayer. You do the following prayer. <laughs> Look, she didn't talk about it. She yeah. Did. <laughs> you going to take that pressure off of your friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For a minute, your sister thought she was going to do the closing prayer. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? Oh, she'll say what? No. Yeah. <laughs> come on, Chastity. <Chester>, come on. <laughs> God, we thank you for today. Lord God, we thank you for allowing us, Lord God, to be able to come and to study your word. Lord God, as you did for Esther, Lord God, do that for us, Lord God. Allow us to understand what our purpose is, our God-given purpose. Not just our purpose, yes. but your purpose, yes. God. Lord God, lead God and direct us, Lord God. When we feel like we are straying away, God, pull us back closer, Lord God. Allow us to understand the walk that you have for us. Lord God, I ask you to bless our church, Lord God. Lord God, bless our pastor, Lord God. Bless each 
member that is here, each member that is watching online, each member that has a desire to be here, Lord God, but could not, Lord God. Lord God, I ask you to bless this coming Sunday service, Lord God. Lord God, bless us as we all prepare to go home. Allow our homes to be homes of peace, love, joy, Lord God, and allow our houses to be the way that we left them. We thank you and we praise your name. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.